Hello, today we're going to go over the infinite dragon farm. I didn't even know this was a thing until uh, a buddy of mine told me about it and I was like, oh, okay. I just did a video talking about how to do this normally, but I guess now you can repeat it infinitely, which is absolutely absurd. So all you're going to need is the same tools as before. The flail, Radagon Sorcia, which is at Fort Faroth. We're all the way over here, far right. If you don't know how to get here, I have an entire video dedicated on showing you how to get here, so... Uh, you can go check that out if you need to know, but how this is going to work is you're going to get this flail Whale on this dragon for like a solid five minutes and then right before he dies or as he's dying You have to mount up and get to this grace rest before you get the souls if you if you like are too slow and you get the souls way too early before you rest he will despawn and die permanently and you will no longer have access to the farm this is the main reason I don't really like this farm, and I just don't think it's worth anyone's time doing for a whole hour. Like, you can get to Mogwin's Palace so easily to do that farm. It takes you every bit of, like, 20 minutes at best. And all you gotta do is kill Godric, and Godric's fucking easy. But if you want to overlevel, it's super easy. So I'm gonna show you guys how this is gonna work. So we're gonna go over here. Uh, we're gonna get to the dragon. You're gonna stand in this spot. It doesn't matter where you fucking stand, by the way. But I choose here because the grace is like directly right there and I can just mount up, speed my way on over and we're chilling. So now all you're going to do is just hold LT or whatever the, you know, your weapon art. Uh, you're just going to do this for the entirety of this thing. Five minutes. And keep in mind, if you want to farm this, you have to do this every single time while managing to perform the, uh, you know, the, the getting back and forth from the grace in time in order to do this so it's a bit of a hassle in my opinion i don't think it's worth it but we will do this and i will show you guys how this works and i'm gonna cut to the part where the dragon is going to die so that way you don't have to sit through a sped up version of this because i know i hate sitting through it all right so the dragon's at legitimately zero hp pretty much uh after a couple more ticks here he's going to die and then we are going to book it for the grace as you can tell down by the souls below I've actually already done this one other time, so this is already proof that I've done this like already once. But uh, he's gonna die probably on this tick here as soon as we get the uh, bleed proc. Uh, oh no, we gotta do one more. All right, here we go. All right, he's dead. He's moving. All right, we mount up. Now we have to haul ass towards the grace and then hop off about right there and then sit. And then I think we made it. I wanna say we made it. Rest of the grace for a hot second and uh we should be good so just give it a second and let's see we got the souls and the dragon is still there there you have it it's not exactly the most complicated thing in the world but it is a pain in the ass it is very tedious and it's definitely not a uh, fun soul grind or rune grind i mean realistically none of the rune grinds are super fun you just do it because you want to over level or you want to do you know builds and whatnot so it makes sense but for this early on in the game i can't really justify doing this for more than like six times at best super boring and not the way that i like to play the game but uh you know it is what it is but anyway that's the method if you have any questions drop them down in the comments i'll answer them as best as i can but i will talk to you guys later Bye bye